Hi, in the last video, we'll talk about how to divide the network into different sections and handle more than 100 IP cameras. We have edge switch and a code switch, and we create different VLAN. For example, we use the VLAN 101 for all the data, the IP camera from the first floor, and the 202 for the camera from the second floor. In the code switch, we we'll also assign the network video recorder, one of the network ports, to VLAN 101. So all the camera from the first floor will go straight directly to the first MVR, and the camera from the second floor will go directly to the second network video recorder. It's okay because it's quite simple. We simplify the whole network in, into different sections. We just cut the network into different pieces, right? So no matter how large the system you have, it will be fine because all the camera the floor from the floor, same floor will go to the just single network video recorder and they don't see each other after we set up VLAN. All the data is being isolated. But now we have faced another thing. If we need to add like this access point, Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi coverage on some of the floor or maybe each floor we still need the access point or Wi-Fi coverage. The single solution is you can add the second network the like the PoE switch, just handle the internet accessing from this Wi-Fi access point. But what if we, like we're using the 24 PoE switch, we do have some additional extra PoE port we don't use. Then it doesn't make sense, just leave there. Can we connect this, this network device like Wi-Fi access point to the network switch and still have the whole system running? If you simply connect to the switch, you have the problem you see. You see, all this data will go to the VLAN 101, right? After it arrived at the code switch, it's still getting a tape VLAN 101. It just will lead to the network video recorder, but that's not what we, what we need. This kind of equipment, they need the internet accessing to provide the Wi-Fi for the customer to go online. But the network video recorder cannot provide the internet accessing. So how to make this whole system up? And in this setup, we, we may, it will become a little bit complicated because we also need to configure the edge switch. Just like the code switch, we also need to separate the switch into different sections. For example, if we have A port, we need to connect A IP cameras. So if this is the 16 port PoE switch, it leaves us another A port. We can connect, configure the first A port for the VLAN 101. The camera can connect to the first A port and we go to the VLAN 101 and go back to the first network video recorder. And the, the other port we can configure it as VLAN 102. So we separate the edge switch into two groups. And that will be it. No, there's still one thing we need to configure it. You see, this is the link port. It's linking to the code switch, right? Before we didn't configure the edge switch for anything. So everything will go just without the VLAN tab. But now we have separated edge switch into two different sections, which means all the data coming from the camera or access point, they have the VLAN 101 or VLAN 102. In this case, we also need to configure this port, the unlink port, as trunk port. What is the trunk port? It's similar as the access port, but trunk port, we can allow all the data, no matter what kind of, v what, what is the VLAN you have. It allow all the data with the VLAN, like VLAN 101, 102, to pass through the trunk port, to lead to the code switch. After it jumps to the code switch, that's no different because you just VLAN 101, 102, 103, 104, doesn't matter. As long as you have the VLAN tape, we can shake the traffic. Ask the VLAN 101, go to the first network video recorder, 102, please go to the internet accessing. So we also need to con configure this port as the trunk port. Okay, now let me bring the laptop and log into this, this code switch. Actually, the configuration will be exactly the same. Divide the VLAN into two different sections, just like what we did for this one, the code switch. But we didn't do the trunk port before. But now let's just make the trunk port for the code switch. This is the console of the network switch. First, we need to put the port we want to configure as trunk. It will be port either one and switch more, more now is use chunk, not access. The last thing is we also need to allow all the VLAN to pass through the chunk. Now that will be it. It's quite simple. 
it's just three or four comment. You allow all the data with the VLAN to pass through this trunk POC. You need, need to do for the same for all the floor. After we done, all the data coming from the camera will be with the VLAN or VLAN 101 or 1202. And the access point, they will go in with the different VLAN. So after LAN to, to this code switch, you can shade the data, the point VLAN 101 to go to the network video, first network video recorder, 1202 go to the second network video recorder, and 102 go to the internet accessing server. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.